Hey guys, welcome to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. We're reacting to episode 6 of Young World season 2. We've made it to the end so far. More Obviously season 3 is coming, yes. but it's been wild. It's been a long journey. We were just talking about it. It's been 3 months Yes, because we've been reacting for 12 episodes, 12 episodes. so once a week. Yeah. yeah, once a week. And we also wanted to say thank you because we've reached 2,115, I think, today. So thank you so much um, for all of you, for all of you, to all of you, um, our subscribers that are here for our animes, our subscribers that are here for Young Royals, and everybody along the way. You're all welcome here. We are having the best time doing these videos. And let's not talk anymore because a lot of people are waiting for this. We're waiting for this. Yes. This is episode six. Season two. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> Team August. Team August. All right. This is a few moments later. Mm. They're going to the police now. Something to take care of. I guess he wants to speak to Marcus. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, Especially yeah. when he's saying. Oh, the police. What? Oh, scary. Oh, it's getting serious. He has to. Wait for it. August is gonna be at the police station. No, he's there. Oh. Look. He doesn't know what to do. Like, should he go to the police first? Yeah. Hey, young love. They are hunting. This is not what he wanted to hear right now. What is he gonna do? Solve it myself? What does that mean? You better not touch Simon. I'm gonna take the t-shirt off. Come on, clock me at 0715 and it's 12 degrees. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for the weather news? <laughs> yeah, what was this about? <sighs> oh, what is he gonna do? <sighs> Look at this smile. Take this t-shirt off right now. He's back. Right, excuse me, I'm going to take the t-shirt off. Uh, I think I have a feeling what he's gonna do. I think they're gonna blackmail Simon into not going to the police. Otherwise, they're gonna reveal that he was the one with the drugs. My yes. Yes. I think so. Oh my god. Oh, cute. Look at him practicing. That's a lot of talking. You know what? Come to the palace. Oh no. Um, you know what? It also feels like they're setting up to fail because he had no training on presentation, public speaking, how to speak in public. Yeah, they should, and he's like, they should support him. Yeah. You know? They really just need to be there for him. Hey. Hey. Oh no. Oh, I think he knows what's coming. Yeah, he's not stupid, I guess. Du är bra och fin och helt perfekt. Men det räcker inte eller? Inte jämfört med en prins i alla fall. Det här handlar inte om. Not him calling himself perfect. Så det har inte hänt något mellan er. Baby, a lot happened between these two. Where have you been? Vad då för att göra han svart sjuk eller? Nej, det var inte därför. Det var det reason. Jag har inte varit redo för en seriös relation. You didn't want to let him go. True, true, true. Vet du vad problemet är? Det är att du går runt och ser dig själv som något slags jävla offer bland alla bra. Oh, this is not, this is not nice, babes. Marcus, slow down. Stop with the gaslighting. No.
he wants to end it before and he just didn't, didn't let get him. it like yeah, he didn't, didn't let, let him, him you know well good thing we didn't order the team marcus t-shirt <laughs> really i want your voice i understand that they would have made you upload it but eric had not let simon go to police oh there's a little bit of no. gaslighting coming. Det är mitt ansvar också att skydda kungahuset. <laughs> protect the family, protect himself. Mm. Om Simon anmäler så har vi bestämt oss för att Alexander tar på sig skulden. Är det där? Va? Vadå, vad menar du? Vi har ju bevis på att det var du. Vi har bevis på att videon spelades in på min mobil, ja. Why would Alex do that? No. Försökte att bli insläppt, knackade på alla fönster. What? Tills han till slut kom till ditt fönster. Jag såg han dig hångla med någon. No. Tills han insåg vem du låg med. No. Varför ska du göra det här för? Du hatar. Honom. Yeah, why are you doing this? Du kan inte fucka med mig. Jag är inte dum. You are stupid. Jag har gått i fängelse för någonting han har gjort. Jag har pratat med min advokat. Det finns ju varken vittnen eller bevis. You know what is well, well. Yeah. Alexander, han är mindre årig. Sarah is the witness. Yeah, and also like he said, he's a minor. So it's not a big, as big of a crime. Jag kommer inte att stoppa Simon från att gå till polisen. Fan, tro mig. Synd. Men jag menar, om du inte lyckas övertyga honom så är det inte mer än rätt att allt kommer in i ljuset. Ja, jag är Eriksson. Det är inte så svårt att förstå vad det kommer ifrån. Oh no. Oh no. No. You, you, you said it, no? Jag har lite smart nu. Jag tycker inte att det här har gått lite för långt. Mm. You said it. Get the mother involved. Like, she needs to do something. Christina? Yeah. She's in Brussels on her way to the plane. She doesn't care. Jag försöker bara få dig att förstå det är ditt bästa. Allas bästa. Det som skadar alla minst. The least damage, and like Alex is just sitting there. Villa is about to yeah, lose it. Okay. Wow. Now he, he hates him even more now. That is crazy. Oh, Villa knows that they will get away with it if he doesn't do anything about it. He needs to tell Simon. I still don't understand why Alex is doing that. Very nice of him. You know, get you a friend like Alex. Det tar liksom lite för lång tid här, kom igen. Well, he, he kind of feels betrayed by Villa, you know? No cuddling. Helena? Vad bra du där? Hä? Huh? They, they, they bought the horse, it seems. I guess August was... I thought was... August bought the horse. Well, he wanted the money for the horse, but I guess he was too late. Well, oh, they're taking it and then suddenly they're gonna bring it back. It's like, surprise! This must be heartbreaking for Sarah. It's her soulmate now. Oh, mm. that is sad. But let's see. Like, if August really bought the horse, she will never betray him. She will not say like, "Oh yeah, I saw him upload the video." Jag lekte sex lekar med mina dockor tills jag var så fjorton och halvt. Förra året hade jag klippt en manfas. Du vet den maskaran som du fick av mig i julklapp? Ja, den har jag snott. Jag är så ledsen att det inte sa som det var med oss så. So she knew Men that he's being sold. Okay, so it was a secret. She knew that he was being sold. Mm. Oh, you're forgiven. Team Felice. <laughs> yeah, that's what you should have worn. Team Felice, <laughs> you're forgiven. Förlåt. Oh. Oh, she's gonna tell her that she's with. Did she just say it? August. <gasps> well, no <sighs> secrets. I have been so scared for that you hate me. Forgot. I know that it's your ex, so that you didn't say. Oh, Felice's face is not happy. Shit, we'll get him with ex, but he's the world's worst man. You can't rely on him. 
At least as a point. Oh, is he gonna overhear something? No. No, don't blame Bella. It was well, Sarah. It was your sister. The devil sleeps in the same building. <laughs> Maybe she will actually speak to I have August because she fun. said to August he should go to the police. August. Now, if he suddenly puts the blame on Alex, Alex, she's, she's gonna lose. She's it. gonna. She's not keeping her his promise, you know. Come to the shooting range! Oh my God! Stay away from the weapons! Now nah, they're gonna shoot each other. <laughs> Are you crazy? Listen. <laughs> at this point, I expect everything. He has a weapon. Oof. Um. No, they're they're, they're showing the gun. Someone is gonna get it. What do you think? <laughs> oh, he's looking at the weapon? No, I told you! Are you crazy? Villa, what are you doing? This is crazy! This is crazy! This is crazy! Villa! Hmm. Oh, this is crazy! I can't watch, honestly. I, I just... It's too much. Is he gonna betray Sarah? Is he gonna say it? No, I'm just at this point asking myself who's he gonna shoot? Oh no. Vem var det som varnar dig? Säg vem det fucking var. Vem var det? Vem var det? What is... He's completely lost it. Oh, see when he's gonna no, lose this it. This is crazy. Jag tänkte om jag gav honom en chans så skulle han välja att berätta själv. Han var på väg att erkänna i vintras. I vintras? How long did you know? Oh. För att jag var kär i honom. Was he needs in to love with put him. the weapon down. Listen. Jag vet, jag tänkte att skadan redan var skedd för videon redan var spridd. Sarah, Listen. shit. Förlåt. He needs to put that weapon down. Var det så eller? Du vill inte göra det. Jag vet att du inte vill det heller. Well, they have enough witnesses now. Vilken vad fan? Du är så jävla vidrig, vet du det? No, she did not just say that. Oh, this is crazy. What she is going on? She spat in his face. In a different movie, he would have liked that. You're a grab that weapon now. What? <sighs> Come on, you need to stick together now. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. a lot he's probably thinking like yes I, I love you but this is too much like i'm going through too much this like is this hell. is too much drama you know yeah it is if you uh, 16 years old 
16 years old. I mean, let's be real. Oh, the dad! Oh, wow. Do they already know what's, what's happening? Well, the mom knows that he's a mess. Is he gonna tell her? Don't August. Om man att tänka går runt och bara skydda sig själv och sin familj så tänker jag också göra det. Så. Så. Gammal fabrik eller hur? Vi står det. Borg. Nej. Det heter palatset. Here, Your Majesty, a fancy wrapped cucumber. That's why they haven't shot the dad. That laughter is not cute. Hello, the good boy. She also looks a little older. She needs a little facial. She looked very good in episode one. So, is he the king or is she the queen and she married him? She's the queen and she married him, I guess. Provpublik. Så kan du köra talet för oss? Ja. Ja. Nej, tack. Jag tror inte det är en bra idé. He's gonna throw up again. Jag vet inte vem dess videon på mig och Simon som var det största problemet. Det var vad alla lögner och hemligheter har gjort med oss. Så var kommer allt det här ifrån? Det var du som sa att jag skulle gå till en psykolog. Ja, det gjorde jag. Gå och lägg mig. Ses imorgon. He's come a long way as a person now. Or is it just me? Yeah. He's completely different now if you think about it. If you think back to episode, um, season one even. He's grown. <gasps> Ooh, the walk of shame. No, oh, this is what is Felice doing? I think Felice is overreacting a little bit. This room. You fick me känna mig som världens sämsta vän med eller så grejer. Som jävla player man blir fatt. Så då får ni flytta på er. Och vad gör du Felice, va? Drama. The girls want drama. Alltså kolla, Sara och Felice ex har typ haft en grej och Sara typ låtsas vara det ska bli bra. Not them telling the the teacher of mm -hmm. what's in Lira. Vad gör ni två ens här? Jag har inte någonting mer att göra. Men alltså, vi har haft Felice. She's gonna say it, right? Oh no. She's gonna spill the tea on these two girls. Hon inte. Stella och Fredrik, jag vill inte ställa och lämna rummet. Är det okej för dig? Hon är inte lojal. Well, she was loyal to the wrong person. Det hände jag har aldrig varit kär förut. Med honom är det som att allting som är fel kändes bara helt rätt. Så du är så jävla full av skit. But she kind of, she needs to know, like she knows how August can be, right? Manipulative and everything. But so, Feliz is overreacting. Um, this yeah. is a little too much. I don't think you need to learn this speech. The speech my God. I mean, I'm gonna take the t-shirt off. Because <laughs> he's stupid. You know, I am happy that nobody got shot. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. That was a lot. That was a lot. She's gonna go to August. No? No, she's leaving the room. She's a little overreacting, was it just me? Is it just me? Oh my girl, calm down. Yeah, I don't know. I get it, but also like maybe it's a bit too much. Oh. Uh, because after all, she kind of wanted to do the right thing in the end by telling him go to the police and confess, you know? Are you back at this conversation? Exactly, it's you. Oh! The light is red. That's usually Villa's thing. Villa has red light in his room. Why is Simon having red light in his room? Because yeah, he's thinking about it. Sweden! Ooh, I could do with some... Um, what do we call them? Kötbola. Kötbola. If you haven't tried Kötbola, you need to try Kötbola. <laughs> if you have tried Kötbola, you know what I'm talking about. Go to Ikea. 
Okay. They're, they're good, yes, actually. Yes, they're yes. good. Yes, yes. Where, where, where she she's sleeping? She pulled a Harry Potter and slept <laughs> under the under the staircase. She did. <sighs> Sarah locked her out. I love it. Hello. Sarah moved out. Where is she? Yeah, she's moved out. What is hmm. going? Oh, she left the jeans. The oh, the birthday they're... present. Oh. This is this is just completely derailed at this point. Duke Ludwig. Now he says Crown Prince Willem. Vi börjar alltså med en fotografering. Nu tänkte jag att vi skulle göra en provuppställning. These two are gonna start a fight. Wait for it. <laughs> He's still smiling and like in a good mood, like... Yeah, he's living for it. Of course, he's living for the applause. <laughs> and he knows the names. Villa just does not need to make a scene. Please keep it together. Mm. Be professional. Uh-oh, he's gonna have another panic attack. Yeah, and all of his senses. Like, look at him, he's so excited. Oh, she's leaving. Oh. He's doing it on purpose. Du fattar ju verkligen ingenting. Wow, that was crazy. I have to say, I did not expect her to just walk away. Mm. Major boss move. Wow, major boss move. Yeah. Team Sarah. Because it, the horse meant so much to her. But betrayal. Yeah, she was the the level of betrayal is just too much. Is she gonna walk home? <laughs> oh, she's gonna take the bus. I hope. Where's um, Simon? At home, yeah, I guess. He doesn't care about this. I mean, that's literally the last place he wants to be at. They're showing her again. What's gonna happen with her? I hope nothing bad. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh of course he needs singing. to sing. Of course. Ah, oh, sorry about it. Probably can't be bothered seeing August there. Oh no! Simon's song. What is gonna happen now? Really? I hate that week in August. Now you want to talk? But it's not worth it to forget our family and sab all for that. Jag vill inte heller att han ska förstöra det vi har. Ja, oh, that's cute. Du vill inte jag heller. Jag vill vara med dig. Mm. Om det måste vara hemligt så får du väl vara det. Det är inga fler hemligheter mellan oss. Oh wow. Well, that's good. And they're not in the music room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because that would have meant bad news. Something bad is going to happen. Yes. <sighs> oh, this is so nice. Kronprinsen, we must go. Ah. Piss off, Jan Olof. <laughs> but he didn't say it back. Ah, oh, wait for it. What? Wait for what? The speech. 
Imagine sure. suddenly Villa pulls something crazy. And... I am expecting something crazy, yeah. I'm still thinking about that weapon, by the way. Someone's going to go and grab it <laughs> and do some shit. Why are they showing Sarah again for the third time? The, the chance for spirit. Yeah, he can't deal with it. Oh. He's like, really? This is just... Why give him the satisfaction of... What is she going to do? She's going to go to the police! Hey, I'm going to go to No! ...skulle hålla välkomsttalet kommer idag ersättas av... No, he's going to do it, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Did he do this, this on purpose? Show. Yeah, like a show off almost, no? Yes. My God. <laughs> I can't believe Look it. at his face. <gasps> I can't believe it. Don't touch the microphone, just talk. Just talk. You can do it, come on. Yes, my estate. Kära mamma. Hillerska blev ett hem för mig. Och för min bror innan mig. Don't shuffle them cards. What is he gonna do? Oh no. Oh, he's gonna improvise now. <gasps> he said no. Problem. Oh. Bara fortsätta traditioner utan att stanna upp. Tänk efter. Don't Över... improvise, no! Vi kan inte ens sjunga en ny version av vår skosång. Oh no. Och vi har hemligheter för varandra. Put the phone away, I mean. Vi låtsas skydda varandra för att vi är rädda för vad som händer annars. Vi är rädda för konsekvenserna. Oh, this is explosive! <laughs> Simon is like, what are you Simon doing? Simon is like, dude, we just Netflix talked Netflix. about it. Oh, look at this. He's, He's having a good time. He's, He's like, like this yes, go on, go on. Det var jag i videon som läckte förra terminen. Där kommer jag. Simon. Du, hallå. This is crazy. Yeah, so, as if they're gonna stop filming. This is crazy. Big boss move, though. We have to, we have to admit it. He's gonna go back and grab him. He's gonna say, "I love you." <gasps> the most beautiful boy. Yes. <laughs> Looking at us again. Is this the end? Uh. Are you okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. This is the end? No. So people had to wait since November. Almost two years? Yeah. After this? This is wild. I mean, how did you guys do it? Yeah, crazy. No. <sighs> and you love me and I'm Such a nice song. It's a lovely song. I put it on the playlist. It's not that you play this. Yeah. <laughs> You've been playing it up and down. Anyway, let's chat. Well, the episode did not disappoint. The episode for once, you were not lying. Because yes. you were all saying in the comments, this is the most explosive episode. I was expecting to see someone get shot. <laughs> you were like having Kopfkino. I was having Kopfkino. I was literally about to rewrite the script. I was like, someone is going to go and get that weapon. They kept showing the thing. And I was like, listen. And then they kept showing Sarah outside. And I was like, is she going to do something stupid? I mean, she called the police, which. <laughs> yeah. But I love that after that, you said, oh, like, Villa has really grown up and he's changed and he's yes. more calm. It's like, 
<laughs> I'm taking it back. What about back. the scene with the gun? Like I'm taking it back. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> but um, He's come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. But uh yeah. But yeah, from the beginning, you know, I told you, like I mentioned it, like I had this feeling of it's not gonna be as easy as like just going to the police and reporting no. it. Yeah. August had a plan. Why not back a plan? Crazy because that Alex was ready to take the fall. That that was wild to me. Yeah. I mean it was kind of clear that August wasn't gonna put the blame on himself. No. But how did he convince Alex to take the blame? Mm. That was crazy. Like that was a bit far-fetched maybe Mm -hmm. maybe because i understand that he was upset like he was betrayed he felt betrayed by by villa Mm -hmm. but still to take the blame for this and like potentially go go to prison or get a sentence or something he's a minor he wouldn't go to prison but at the same time it's like i mean if i would have been alex i'll be saying listen you might have not been the one who who did the thing last time around but i just got back i was suspended i'm not gonna get suspended again in Villa's place, I would have said, like, okay, whatever. But also, August was the one who actually wanted to blame you first. Because that was, was that was the initial plan, no? No, they wanted to always blame Simon first. August straight away went to Simon. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. He went straight away to Simon. And th- initially they said yes. And then I think Villa, if I remember correctly, spoke to Simon and then he went back and changed the plan and was mm, like, ah, mm-hmm. I take control. Okay, okay. Because Fair enough. that was also the situation with his tuition, you remember. Uh, let's quickly talk about Phyllis. Yes. I f- felt that she overreacted. Like when she said at the, at the shooting range, she was like, oh, you're despicable, you're disgusting. And then she walked off and I was like, girl, calm down. Yeah. Calm down. You were telling people that you had an uncle that died from cancer. <laughs> I mean, can you please? It's yeah, it's a bit of a weird bit one. Bit much. A bit of a weird one because when they had the talk in, in the stables, and she said to to Sarah like, "Oh, no more secrets." Yeah, but also like, "Oh, I'm not disappointed or something that you are with August." It's just like he's a bad person. He's a bad person, you know. Mm. Like I want to protect you from him. And then the next thing she calls her disgusting and despicable. Yeah. But I guess because then she found out that Sarah knew for such a long time that August posted the video and didn't tell anyone. She didn't tell Simon, she didn't tell Felice. Yeah. But then afterwards, they have the scene in the bedroom where obviously Felice is like, drama queen, I'm moving on, yada, yada, yada. And the teacher comes in. Uh, sorry, I'm making weird movements. And the teacher comes and, and the teacher comes in and, and and the teacher comes in and wants to mitigate the situation. And then Sarah actually opens up and is super honest to her and says, Listen, I've never had mm. this feeling. Yeah, I've never, never fallen before. in love. Right? She is confessing to Felice, this is what I'm going through, right? And Felice is still giving her this shitstorm and that and then even in the evening she walks out and goes and sleeps under the under the staircase. That was a little much for me. I, th- that's <sighs> taking me out of the fantasy. I, like, yeah. I didn't believe her. I didn't believe, I believe her. No, and when she said, like, oh, I was never in love with before, like, I think we all know the first time when we're young, we fall in love, like, everything is like, you have, like, a pink, what do you say in German? Like, rosa rote Brille. Oh, like, tinted, you have, like, tinted, tinted glasses. glasses on, you know, like, everything seems perfect and, like, you see things in a different light than they actually are. Mm-hmm. So she believed in Simon. She, she thought like, oh, he's gonna, he's changing. He's actually a good person. Simon, you mean August. Uh, August? August. So I can understand that part. But then Felice being so upset about it, you know. Well, at the end now, when Felice wakes up in the morning and then goes <clears throat> into the room, we see... Sarah's uniform is hanging on the door. She opens the door and then she sees the bed's made. Her her jeans is on the on on the on the um, on the bed, which was the birthday gift, mm-hmm. and which means basically she she's left the school. Yeah, she's running away, right? She's running away. 
But then she says, um, Simon, I'm going to make this right. And then she calls the police. And that's the end of Sarah for this season. So we don't know what's going to actually happen, right? Yeah. She's going to call the police, but what's she going to tell the police? <clears throat> we don't know. But then actually, let's talk about... Actually, let's talk about Marcos as well before we talk about the show. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He was also in there. <laughs> he for was like, also For in like there. a few a few minutes, yes, a brief yes, moment. Yes. He did his own thing again, like his standard thing where he he's spinning reality and it's like uh he literally came for simon we have to say simon might have not been the nicest because yeah. he did in in fact bring marcus to the to the ball <clears throat> to make simon um jealous yeah but marcus is also not innocent right because he was gaslighting yeah, he was absolutely. gaslighting simon and someone said to him listen i'm not ready for this but i think the funny thing here is that that marcus obviously is not aware of his own behavior gaslighting? no right and that he actually was the one who kind of pushed Simon in, in, into staying in the relationship, right? Because he, Simon tried before to, to end it. Mm, maybe he is and maybe he isn't, right? This is an know. assumption at this point. Yeah, it's an assumption. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess, I guess he has the right to be, upset. to be upset, you know, that... Simon brought him to the to the ball and everything and to make him jealous. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. But at the same time, someone could have been like, listen, zip it. I've had enough of you. Go play with the horse. I'm and, out then, of here. and then he said something crazy. He was like, Oh, you you kind of you feel like the victim no, or something. No, he, he said you you're running around like pretending you're the victim. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah, yeah. That's when I checked out and I was like, listen. Yeah. Go exactly. go. Take care of the horse. We're <laughs> out of here. Simon I should have been like, listen. I'm out of here. But he's only 16, right? He doesn't know. And Marcus is a lot older. Anyway, let's talk about the shooting range. What did you think when that happened? Because you also had tears in your eyes when 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 this when the situation dissolved. Yeah, because it was just like you could see just the emotions in Villa's face, you know? He was out of control for a minute. I was like, he's gonna shoot someone. Yeah, it was just like so much was going on. Like Villa obviously holding the gun ready to shoot August. But then also you like you had Sarah there, who was also kind of in tears and not knowing what to do because she then had to confess yes, in that it was everybody. her, right? Mm -hmm. Who told August. Not only, but she knew since winter. Yeah. But you could just really see in that moment like all the emotions that were like bottled up almost in Wilhelm. Right? And he just had enough yeah. with August. Yeah. Like all the lying, all the secrets, blackmailing. like just his behavior, like the blackmailing, mm -hmm. all in the name of protecting the royal family. Yes. But it was just him it's protecting himself. The standard you know? excuse these days. Why are you late to work? I was protecting the royal family. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably thinking, like, why are you doing this? Why are you destroying Simon's life? But also, like, my life with him together you know i might actually reply to you the next time you want something really sorry babe i'm busy protecting the family no you that's are protecting such, august i am protecting that's august. such a standard that's such a standard excuse at this point from august anything and everything he does is to protect the royal family yeah and then he makes willow also feel bad about it right he said oh i am at least protecting the royal family not like you that that scene was crazy. I, I mean, I lost it. Like I was screaming at one point. I was like, what, yeah, what's and going then on? you could see also like Simon was just standing in the background, and he just left eventually. Like, okay, you could enough. see, yes, he was disappointed when he found out it was like Sarah knew all along, yeah. but he was just standing there almost motionless, motionless. Yeah. Like he he was just like, this is too much. <laughs> like, what am I dealing here mm -hmm. with? You know. Mm -hmm. Which and then is it worth it? Is it worth it? And then later in that living room kitchen, where his mom is like, "Babe, why were you?" Obviously, she didn't say, "Babe." She said, "Why, why were you not at school?" I was waiting, <laughs> babe. I was waiting for you. And, and he's like, "Well, it wasn't August, you know. If they are all protecting their families, I'm going to do the same thing." So he realized at that point, actually, there is no point in fighting this battle, this war, because whatever he tries, they will always outplay him. Yeah. They will always and, find a way and, to win. And it will damage his family, actually. Yeah. Because if they find out he took the drugs, the pills and everything it's his from, dad's from name. his dad. And... Yeah. It's his dad's name on the on the on the pill box. Yeah. Yeah. Big, big mess up. Um but then now we have the big 
moment at the end. Huge. Huge. I mean, before obviously the speech. Or, um, the beautiful moment in that Villa and Simon had this like beautiful moment. Just the two of them. Mm. Not in the music room. In Thank the piano God. room. I don't, I don't know. Like it was so, just so nice. Yes. Like Villa barely said anything, right? Simon was in charge. Um, I think like probably he was thinking about everything and like, oh, maybe he, he, maybe he was already thinking about what he's going to do during the speech or like what he's going to say. Also assumption at this point, but maybe it ignited, yeah. it ignited something in him, yes. But yes, Simon just saying, I just want to be with you. And if it has to right. be a secret, it has to be a secret. It's almost like, let's just have a fresh start. Like, let's forget what happened. Like, obviously, that's all shit, and, but we can't change it anymore. Yeah. Let's just be together, just the two of us. Even if we have to be a secret, be a secret for two years. Mm -hmm. I mean, and but no more secrets between them. That was a beautiful line when he said, "No more secrets between us." Yeah, yeah that was beautiful. And then the "I love you." That was. Ugh. You could feel it was genuine. Like the acting is crazy. The cast is doing an incredible job. The cast is doing an incredible job. Even like we said last episode, like yes. You know, August is the villain, but he has those moments where you're like, ah, oh, we like him, you know, because there are these glimpses of true kindness coming through. Here, of course, I'm going to burn this t-shirt after this episode. <laughs> Here, of course, we did see a lot of manipulation and blackmailing. Like, even now at the end when Sarah was running away, he was like, oh, by the way, I I bought Russo. Yeah. And it's just like he he's using these trump cards in a way when he needs them you know was that the right moment to 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 say such a thing it was just a it's another tool for him you know that's what yeah. it feels like he's just using tools no he to probably get, thought like oh this she's is gonna good. change her mind and she's gonna stay you know like yeah but incredible proud moment actually there for her to say you don't get it and she walks away that was huge i actually thought oh my god he might actually get her back with that yeah, horse. yeah i thought the same but bam sarah's like no i'm out of here Huge. And then I think, of course, the speech. I think it also goes back to her for her, like everything is like like black and white. Black and you white. Know? Mm -hmm. Like if you're not honest with her, yeah. That's it, you know. And if you if you say you're gonna do something and then you don't do it, mm. you you lost with her. Mm. Yeah, very true. Very, very true, and very good in a way, you know. She's I think she really, truly wanted him to be the good, a better person. A better person. Yeah. And I think she, she thought she's the one to support him in, in that way. Mm -hmm. And also that's why she said, you should go to the police and report and, you know. Well, but that's then, why she warned him. Yeah, exactly. But he then didn't do it. Like he wanted to blame it on someone else. And she just thought like, wow. It was eye-opening. Yeah. And then at the end, we see, obviously, Willa with the speech, doing it, do, doing his own thing. Jan Olaf losing it. <laughs> losing it. Christina as well. She you could see in her face. It's like, Christina was uh, ready to pop. what are you doing? Christina was ready to pop. The only one that was chilling was the Duke. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> He's ah, so funny. this is fun. <laughs> He's just such a side character. Side like, character, but babe. I mean, what a side Yeah, no love telling the camera guys to like stop filming as if they're going to stop filming. No, exactly. And there's also all the people Kids. in the audience like taking videos on the yeah. phone. So. Yeah, yeah. No, it was a good episode. It was a, it was a very good episode actually considering I, I just can't believe how you guys managed to wait for two years with this ending. They know how to torture people. But yeah, they yeah. know how to torture people. The I mean, in a way, it? obviously, it's a really nice moment for us and for for Simon and Villa. Why? Because the next season is starting in in a week. <laughs> no, because for them, it's now like basically Villa took ownership of the narrative. Oh. You know, yes, like he's not letting anyone else control control it anymore. He's it's just out there now, right? He's mm -hmm. like. It was me in the video I with Simon. It. Yes. Right? I was scared in the moment. Like, he elaborated even further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's out there, yeah. you know? Like, and you can't change that. He's just being honest and 
he's he's probably now hoping he can just live his <clears throat> life with Simon. In a way, you know, when 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 Simon says "I love you," and then Jan Olaf interrupts the moment, and then Villa obviously walks away, and I said to you, "Oh, he didn't say it back." This speech, in a way, is his "I love you." Yeah, right. Absolutely. He's owning up to that video. He's like, "It was me." Yeah, that is a literal "I love you." Like, hey, what else do you what want? What more do you want? <laughs> what more do you want? And then Simon was smiling, and he's like, "Yeah, I got him. I got myself a prince. I got myself some royal dick." Wow. And August was disappointed that he. August was fuming. August but was... wait until he finds out that. I hope he kept Sarah that receipt. I hope he kept the receipt for Russo. <laughs> but did you see? Did you hear what he said to Sarah? Like, oh, I had to sell one painting. Yeah. To buy the horse. Exactly. Like imagine like how many paintings he has. He like can buy other things he owns, you know. So it's like it's nothing for him. Ah, oh, roller coaster. Well, what do you think is gonna happen in the next season? Okay, what, what are I your think? predictions? So we will. I think they are gonna utilize Feliz maybe slightly differently because I felt that throughout this season. Feliz was a bit of a filler character. She was, she was in a way, Villa's sidekick. Yeah, she was kind of there to be his best friend, yeah. support. Yeah. So there wasn't a lot, because I felt that Feliz's presence was stronger in season one. They they changed it slightly. Her complete character changed. And then obviously she became this friend for Sarah. I hope we will see more of that. I, I hope we will see a moment where she... She, she she reconciles and she makes up with Sarah mm. because that was actually, I have to say, I, I a disappointing moment. <clears throat> I don't believe Felice for a second that <clears throat> suddenly she just throws it all away, you yeah, know? Yeah, um, yeah I hope so too. Mm. I think, obviously, Sarah going to the police <clears throat> will be a huge storyline for the next season. Huge storyline? Yeah. Okay. Because but, it's going to have major implications, like, <clears throat> you know, her going, reporting August, basically, but like, what's going to happen? Mm. Because then, yes, he will probably have to go to the police and, and make a report, but is he then still going to... Well, I think Alex will take the blame. If he's... Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> I is think, he still somehow going to pull Simon into I it? I think so. You know? I think so. I think so. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think that's that's gonna happen. I hope Villa and Simon's relationship though is gonna be just strong enough mm-hmm. and that they can just be together, you know? Well, I think the royal court will definitely punish uh, Villa in, in some, some, some capacity. Yeah. They will definitely punish him for what he did. And with Sarah going to the police... We actually don't know what she is telling them. So mm. if she says, hey, it was August. And then somehow he spins the story. August spins the story and blames Alex. Or they use the, the pills to, to get Simon into trouble. Yeah. The, the royal court will lose it even more. Because suddenly the, the royal prince is not just gay and is having an affair or a boyfriend. The boyfriend is also a drug dealer. Yeah. You know, it just becomes worse and worse. Yeah. Make some notes. Maybe we can rewrite the script quickly before it airs. But well, I, can, I can see something like this happening. Yeah, maybe. What I'm hoping is going to happen is Sarah saying that she was the witness, right? That she saw all oh, this yeah. uploading it. Yeah, yeah. Right? So then they, cannot, they can't actually... He can't actually put the blame onto Alex anymore. He will find a way. He might still mention the, the, the drug <clears throat> thing then with Simon. But at that point, because maybe it's then already out there that um, maybe the news will know as well that Simo, uh, that August is kind of involved with this, the royal court will then be like, oh, we're going to distance ourselves from August. We now can't like save him anymore. What if the royal court is the one that blames Simon to protect August? Because when they picked up the computer... You remember, yeah. they were the one picking up the computer, no? Yeah. And the queen knew right away who it oh, yeah, was. Of course. So what if they, in order to get him away from Villa and also protect the second in line, because 
August is still second in line. Yeah. What if the royal court goes after Simon? Let's see. I mean, I'm hoping because obviously it's going to be the last season, right? Yes, season three it's is the last one. Ending. I hope that there's somehow going to be just a happy, happy ending. Obviously, the royal court could take a different direction. You know, mm. they could actually now take this moment and be like, you know, you know what? It's now out there. Villa said, you know, he outed himself. Basically, it was him in the video, but also he's saying, "I'm I'm gay" or like "I'm bisexual," mm -hmm. right? They can actually take this moment and be like, "Okay, we're gonna use this and be like, use it as a, in a positive way," mm -hmm. right? And yeah, be like, I mean, and be like, yeah, Villa Villa is the first gay crown prince. I mean, wishful thinking. I don't think the Royal Court will do that. Look at Jan Olaf alone. Be like role models for yeah. the LGBTQ plus. Uh... Yeah, that wouldn't give the right drama. It needs to be explosive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Could you imagine? I want a bit Guys. of explosiveness and then a happy ending. happy ending. You want a happy ending. I don't think they will give us a happy ending. I think we'll end up at the shooting range and someone will get shot. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to definitely, it's going to be explosive. Right. This is episode six. This was the finale. I feel like we need to watch it again. We will obviously watch the trailer for oh, yes. season three. We will watch the trailer. After this at some point. Yes, we will. We will record it and watch it and upload it as well. Um, I mean, we are ready for season two at this point. Uh, season three, sorry. Yes. Uh, it's great to have you guys with us. If you have not subscribed, please do so. We will upload season three right when it starts. Um, <clears throat> they are obviously uploading the first five episodes right away. We will still stick to our uh, weekly upload. Mm -hmm. And the finale is airing on the 18th. So we will obviously upload it with a slight delay. But we are uploading all six episodes when they air. Um, and then we have some other shows coming up. We will also record Red, White and Royal Blue soon. Uh, you guys voted for it, which is super exciting. And um, Fellow Travelers, which is mm -hmm. quite high up as well. A lot of you are asking for it. We're going to watch that as well. Yep. So a lot coming See you for the next one. Thanks for being here. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.